The following video may not be suitable for children 13 and under. Viewer discretion is advised. Hey everyone, Ian Tobby here, and today we're going to take a look at our first figure from the Animal Warriors of the Kingdom Primal Series, Kali Conquest Armor. Very excited to take a look at this. It came in the mail, uh, United States Postal Service. Today, uh, it comes with a small pamphlet inside, just basically telling you to heat up your joints. Uh, we'll take a look at it here. It's kind of warm today. Maybe I won't have to do that, but we'll definitely, definitely do that. We feel like we need to do that. Uh, don't want to break anything, but this comes in your, your shipping information right there. So it just tells you all the details you need to know. We're going to go over this figure, take a look at the packaging, which I'm really excited to take a look at the figure, the accessories, all that good stuff. Real quick, before we do, if you have not, please go up there, hit that subscribe button real quick before you get started. Also share this video if you don't mind and uh, do all that great stuff, trying to get the channel to 5,000 for the end of the year. So, man, I, I, I'm excited just looking at this figure. <laughs> The head sculpt is, is simply fantastic. It is just, it is great. And I haven't even got out of the box. I mean, look at, look at this. Look at this. Jeez. I mean, come on. That's, that's pretty good. That's really good. So, <laughs> ugh, it's going to be nice, I think. So, let's start with the packaging. We'll get to figure out. We'll go over all that good stuff. Um, so, let's get going. All right, so it's in this clear packaging here. We've got uh, print here on the front, uh, white and gray, just saying the Animal Warriors of Kingdom, Primal Series, Kali, Conquest Armor. Got kind of the open top here with Spiro, Warning, Choking Hazard. On the side, we got some uh, nice artwork here with the Kali holding the blade. This is very, very nicely done on the side. On the back, got a little bit of information. Uh, Emperor Kali. I don't know why I was calling him General for some reason, but eh, Emperor General, same thing. Reigning over all of the great animal houses, his tyrannical leader rules with an iron paw. So nice artwork here from like the, the comic. If you have not, go to SpiroToys.com. There's three comics, they were $2 a piece. Just buy them and download them. It, it's a really good read. I don't read a whole lot of comics anymore, but it's really good, I, I'll tell you that. So definitely check it out. Got the cross sale here. Going over some of the different characters available in uh, in the wave here. We've got Pale and Adventure Armor. We've got Kali, uh, the Chunari Legionary House of Chunar. Uh, let's read it this way. Ravager of House Horrid, Atreyu of House Feralus, and Tiberius of House Feralus. So all these look pretty good. I made a stupid mistake and thought I ordered this guy in with this guy and I didn't, so I still don't know what I did there, but uh, that won't be my first mistake. Collect them all, wave one, and just basically it goes over that again. And then we've got this side, it's open from the side with clear packaging. The bottom, we've got barcode, Spiro Toys, Facebook, uh, Kingdom Action Figures, uh, Instagram at Spiro Toys. And also you can check out the official Animal Warriors of the Kingdom podcast on Facebook. Uh, just go over there, send an invite, we'll set you up in there and you can check out all the great figures that are coming here. So I really like the packaging. I like clear packaging like this. A lot of companies are getting away from it where you don't see this anymore, but I like that you can see the figure. You can see all the cool stuff. I mean, he's got a lot going on with his armor. So I'm, I'm very excited to check it out. Got two blades, even though they might look a little similar, they are really different in the way they're made. Uh, it's got some nice little detailing in there on the paint, like scratches and like battle damage right there. And then we've got this, this like blender bus revolver pistol. I don't know what you want to call it, but very cool. So that's pretty much it for the packaging. Let's get the figure out and take a look at it. We'll go over uh, basically my thoughts and impressions straight out of the box. That's what we do on this channel uh, directly as you buy it and what you should expect. So. Okay, one thing I wanted to mention, it comes with this like orange insert too. It's just part of the packaging, but you could make that work like on the shelf if you want to use it. 
Orange really pops against a lot of colors, so maybe something you're interested in doing, but just wanted to point that out before we go into the weapons. And let me tell you something. Not only is it, this is very well painted for one thing, but it's got a great feel to it. It's like it's got some heft to it. It's not just feels hollow, loose. Uh, it's stiff. It doesn't bend. Uh, you can see, see like the battle damage, nicks and cuts and stuff like that. And I mean, you can hear that sound. I mean, this is not flimsy stuff right here. Handle looks good. A lot of gold on this. But here's the comparison between the two. Uh, while the blades sort of look a little similar, you see how one bends up and goes like this. One's got the, kind of like the hook. So uh, they are roughly about the same size, just with different uh, makeups. And then there's the two handles. Basically the same color. This has got like these little divots, I guess, to mean for like screws or whatever in the handle. Uh, this one doesn't have it. Got gold here on the end. Got gold here on the end. So, yeah, I was... I was a little surprised because for some reason I thought it would be, you know, really bendable or something, but it's not. It's very nice. Gold really looks good. It, it's, I would love to know, and it's just from a technical aspect, I have no idea, but uh, how do they do like the little scratches and damage and stuff throughout, the, you know, throughout the blade? It looks like a blade would look. It's been seeing some combat or something like that. It's just very impressive. So you get two of those and then you get, uh, I don't know what you want to call it, like a revolving blunderbuss pistol. Uh, it's got that same color in the handle here. A lot of gold details here. No trigger guard, but, uh, you know, just have to maintain that discipline. Uh, I don't see any pieces that actually rotate here or move or anything like that. Uh, you got gold here on the handle, a lot of intricate little details especially on the bottom of the barrel. Here we got like the, the flintlock, you know, like, I don't know how to explain, but on like flintlock, you got the hammer, you cock back, and then you put your, your wide and your powder and stuff like that, or whatever. So not sure if that's the way that necessarily is supposed to work, but it's very cool. Showing that out. And then there is a, it was a little orange bag and then I didn't see it in the packaging, it's behind the figure. So we'll open up and see what's on the inside of that. This is has not been opened, so let's uh, let's do that. It looks like just extra hands. So we've got uh, one right closed fist, gold armor on the hands, one left open kind of grabbing hand here, one right grabbing hand. Just to point out that uh, you see like the fingernails and. The joints and stuff like that. See the wrinkles in the joints. That stuff. I don't know. Some of the figures I I have, I don't I don't see that sort of sort of detail. And then we got a, another left closed fist. So that's all the accessories that Kali comes with. Let's bring in the figure. And there he is. So yeah, I mean this is this is very cool. He's you know. Heat them up just a little bit, but not much because it's kind of warm where I am now. It's like 70 some degrees here today. It's supposed to be 80 tomorrow. Uh, so it's got this cape on the back. It's hard plastic. I imagine if you pop the head off, you could just remove it if you wanted to do that. But I like the way it hangs. Uh, he's got his hair kind of in this sculpt going to the back. Uh, one cool thing I'm pointing out here on the head. So the neck is on a, a different articulation point. And then there's ball joint to the head. So like the neck will move side to side and around. And then the head will move on that joint as well. So you could do, you know, some different things that maybe you can't do where the neck joint doesn't move. But I don't know if I've seen that before. I, I'm not aware of it, but I'm sure somebody has done it. But uh, it's kind of cool. So he can he can look down, right? He can look down like that. And he can look up. He can look up pretty decent. You know, this hair is going to definitely uh, limit some of it a little bit. Well, he can definitely look up probably what you want to do side to side angles. Like I said, with that neck, you can do, you know, leaning over, looking down like that. 
Um, so let's just go over to basics. Uh, you got a nice butterfly joint. You've got rotation above the bicep. You've got double jointed elbows here. And I, I just say that this gold and the way the figure is painted, man, it, it's really, really nice. <laughs> it is it is very, very impressive. I'm, I'm, I'm actually surprised at some of it. I mean, I, had, I never got to look at one up close, but this amount of gold and this amount of detail in this type of figure is, is pretty cool. Uh, so you got double elbows so he can reach across and it's got a lot in that butterfly so you can really bring that arm across uh let's see you've got and we'll rotate like that i've got this kind of semi-closed fist i think this probably works with the pistol and the blades like that uh and then on this side we've got this shoulder pauldron kind of thing with like uh maybe that's supposed to be a dragon i don't know maybe it's supposed to be a screaming monkey but it's very nicely detailed in the shoulder a lot of gold all through here like i said you can see all that uh, hands rotate around in and out like that this hand is a little bit tight maybe need to heat it up just a little bit more some purple here shows if you lift the cape up you see the purple on the collar right there uh, and that that really really pops well we've got a uh, waist rotation we've got an ab crunch that is extreme i mean that's a lot of ab crunch so and it feels good so it's hard to explain and then you've got uh kind of this lower abdominal piece going on too you hear how that that sounds really well i mean really good you know the way that snaps back in there kind of do that teapot side to side thing along with rotation uh we've got the legs we'll go up um like that you can bring it up more the skirt's gonna kind of kind of get in the way uh, but you can move it around but come back because I wanted to just kind of show you how this is so you can get it all the way up there I think that's fine even and this is very flexible so uh, you can move it around but uh, look at the detail in the legs here kind of like this armor that's molded in there we'll go over all that here after I, I do the articulation part and I'm not a big articulation guy I don't I'm not anything on poses or anything like that and, yeah, that's not my deal, but we've got double jointed knee, uh, like that. Do we have a, and then you got this piece over the toe. So the foot will go up and down side to side and you can do the, the knee. I may have to, let's see, I'm trying to do it on camera, but you can see it right there. There you go. And then you can bend that. There we go. Let's see how that goes. So a lot you can do with that. Uh, leg will go back. You know, you can bring the leg back. Probably about to right there. And then you can go out to the side. You know, maybe you can go out a little bit more, but not sure why else you'd want to go that far. But yeah, looks really nice. And I like how this hangs over the feet right here. I mean, it's kind of like a armor cover for the, the feet. And then one thing I want to point out here on the toes, you can see like all that detail, kind of like where the first stops, the wrinkles on the, the knuckles, whatever you want to call that. So here's the armor. This is where, to me, this figure really, really excels. All this line here on this front piece, the sides, the ridges and the armor on the legs, uh, all this inlay detail in the arms here, the chest pieces, all this is painted. I mean, I haven't found, and I've, I've looked at it fairly close. I don't see any blemishes of paint or anything on this figure straight out of box. Uh, nothing that, nothing that looks bad. Everything's painted pretty much on point. I mean, usually you find something that's, you know, maybe got missed or whatever. So Maybe I just got a really great figure or maybe that's the standard of quality we should expect. And that would be awesome. So very nice. Look how that goes through the arm right there. The bracers here on this. So very cool. His head sculpt is, is, is really tremendous to me. It's just, it's just such a serious look on that face. Like I said, but that the way that neck rotates, I mean, I can just a lot of things you could see doing with that. And now, uh, 
Not sure if I've ever seen that. I'm sure people put in the comments, oh, this line does that, this line does that. The lines that I mess with don't do any of that. So that's 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 pretty cool. And then on the bottom, we've got pegs here. Don't know how that will work, uh, if there's stands or something coming in future. Not sure. So overall, very solid. It's got a great feel, you know, out of the box. I can't say, you know, you told me to compare it to something. I would say, I don't know, because it's it's got a better heft and feel than like definitely better than Legends, uh, definitely better than like Joe's, um, better than Masterverse, just a kind of a, a nice heft and solidness to it. And this is a brand new company too. I mean, you know, this is their first wave. This, you know, I haven't tried any other figures. It's the first one I've ever gotten. I mean, they just started shipping stuff and, you know, this is a great sign of things to come if they continue to do like this. So. And normally, I, you know, I, I'll point out something. I, I, I'm not finding really any faults. I mean, I don't know. If I had to say anything, anything, I would like maybe another head sculpt, you know, to go along with this. Maybe like a screaming face would be cool. But maybe like like hair in a ponytail or something. I don't know. But other than that, you know. And these shoulders will go up. Even with this armor plate. And then they'll rotate around. So all the standard stuff that you'd want. Plus more. I mean, that, that teapot right there. And that abdominal crunch is pretty nice. So, so that's pretty much it for the figure. Um, can't really think of anything else I want to say about that. Um, feels good in hand. Solid feel. Really like the way it's painted. To me, uh, it, it, this is a good thing, good sign of things to come. So hopefully uh, we'll see some more coming. I get them in the mail, do some videos, check them out, and all that great stuff. So I want to thank everybody for watching the video. Like I said, if you're watching this, hit that subscribe button, share this video with any friends. I'm trying to get this out there and let everybody know about Animal Warriors of Kingdom. You know, I, me and Kato do... Uh, the official podcast on there, you know, with uh, Spiro Toys approval, but uh, you know, this isn't a shield or anything. This this is this is a solid figure. So pick one up, check it out, see for yourself. Thanks for watching, guys. I really do appreciate it. Uh, stay tuned for more content, and we'll see you down the road.